Hey guys and welcome to part 6 of the Arkham City playthrough and now we're gonna get mooks with knives. Yes. And watch out we got a badass here. <laughs> now this is where they introduce a new kind of dodge where it's the blade dodge. All you have to do is just press the analog stick the opposite and hold the triangle button. Yeah. But the next upgrade I'm gonna get is called the blade dodge takedown where if you time your triangle button with eight each swing, the last hit it instantly knocks the thug out. <laughs> Even if the thug is armored. If he's got a knife and you dodge it, that knocks him out completely. I love that. Although admittedly it did take me a while to get practice on how it functioned. Yeah. But now I can just do it no problem. You trying to get back to death? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. First uh, one did work out so well, did it? Yeah. <laughs> and what was that? That was just a basically a penguin model. All right. That's the collectibles, kind of like how I mentioned in the steel mill. It was the Harley dolls, and here yeah. it's the penguin models. All right. Now they were just doing that because fuck the penguin. Ah, right, it's a regular challenge. Something's blocking communication back to the Batcave. Penguin must be using military grade communication disruptors. Of course, because he has the money for that. Yeah. That is Gotham Soul Chancellor. So now we have three jammer signals we have to destroy. But we ha we can't destroy them by hacking, we have to actually go and physically destroy them. This challenge is pretty easy. The battering, which I remember is just tap the L2 button. You can do that up to three times, so just tap it three times. Yep. Done. I'll never get past the security. I should head back outside. And search for penguins, jammer. Yes, I just mentioned this about ten minutes ago. <laughs> right now, we have got to go and search these jammers. The way to destroy the jammers is you have to take care, also take care of the folks that are guarding them. Aye. But then the only way to destroy them is to punch the servers out. And here's the Bruce Wayne Rebel right here. Just look at these wanted posters. Scan. Arkham City is not the place to be retro famous. Bruce Wayne has never felt quite the same. <laughs> All these riddles also unlock as um like Arkham stories that you can read in the um the the character bio section, basically backstory about why things the way they are. Alright, but they don't mean anything to the overall plot. Yep. Right, let's take out these bugs. That's what I love about the gadgets though—you can use them in conjunction of a combo. Now that alarm that's blazing, that's basically a thug is opening the gun draw and pulling out a weapon. Uh, that's what the alarm usually means. Now if I time this just right, the guy's picked up a gun. Uh, come on, past me. <laughs> there we are. No weapon for you. <laughs> Love it. Uh, that was me. I, I lost that because I was not. My reflexes went to shit that night. Uh, that's what happens when you get older, folks. <laughs> I mean, I'm already tw turning 26 and I feel old. Yeah. And I hate that as well. When you're doing the ground takedown, you can't count yet. Yeah, the only way you can count them is if, you, if your last hit on the ground just happens to be the last bit and then you have a split second to react. But right. before that, you can't do anything about that. And Batman's getting IQ of what, sorry? <laughs> and he still goes for the brute force approach. Well, sometimes that's the best way. Yeah. All right, Nolan, shut. Jammer down. I should look for more. Right, this one. I'll have to admit, this next one I got to, which is the Predator one. Well, first Predator jammer. I got a little bit unlucky. Oh well. Yeah. You'll see. Mainly because I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. I'm just. I'm like I'm being incredibly reckless or just not thinking straight. Right, four guys all armed. I'm trying to go for this one first because I thought his back was turned. Turned out it wasn't. And somehow the other two saw me. Alright. So that's when things got shit, because I mean, look at my health. Alright. Not as bad as the one I had, well, the close call I had in Ark and back in Arkham Asylum two years ago. Alright. Where my, I got shot a few, quite a few times and my health was down to a pixel. Oh. And I got it, and got through the room. Oh, some of the AI in this is very smart. Actually, see if they actually spot you or they think you're in the guard. Or some of the guards will be like, "Oh, I see. How are you going to use those things if they're not here?" And they shut down. They shoot down the gargoyles. All right. That's that's smart. But then there's also ones like when they, if there's only two of them, and then they go and check if they're a hostage, they'll be like, "What are you doing? I need help. Screw it. You're on your own." Because <laughs> <laughs> they're terrified. All right. 
Right, turn your back, please. There you are. Now put your face on the ground down. Yeah. What's your opinion on the predator sections? Um, well, uh, they had to do add a bit of a, a nice bit of variety to the overall game, because it's not just m m beat down. Aye. <laughs> But makes, makes sense first with all Batman's Batman's all stealth mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I still think you're missing out on a good game, Sean. Yeah. I mean, you can get. I think what to do is go next time you go into a game or a store, wherever, go and see if they can get at least return to Arkham. If you can't, just get on the PS3. Yeah, I think you can get return to Arkham on the PS4. Yeah. Uh, PS4 store, the digital store. Ah, you can do that if you want. Mm -hmm. Right now to get the range amplifier. Come on, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Increases the effective range of the cryptographic sequencer so I don't have to be right next to the power module to unlock it. Yeah, I can see that coming in handy. The signal's blocked again. No, this last jammer, it's underground. Alright. So now we need to head to the subway. By the way, send live nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Not me folks. It was the developers that developed that designed that sign. Blame them. Ah, this button. This is a pressure switch. You have to glide above the switch and then dive down, which in initiate. You know, like when you go into those fun fair, those when you go into a fun fair, you get those whack a hammer challenges that ring the bell. Aye, it's like that. All oh, right. You glide above the switch and you dive down, and that applies pressure to the button. There's only two of them in the entire city, but one's really hard. Yeah. Like that. Aye. Right. Then you hit the switch. I'm going to assume a Batarang's flute hits someone off screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Search and destroy. Mod in um, a mode in Call of Duty. Which we'll, yeah. ne we'll probably never do. Sorry, folks. <laughs> this one, actually. This particular trophy, you have to slide underneath a, a pair of... Like, you have to slide underneath these doors before they close. But the... Ah, uh, you have two seconds to slide on it, otherwise they close. But see, when you're in a slide, it's like Mega Man in a way. Nah. You don't have to hold down the button. When you're in a long tunnel, he just slides for you. Nah. Like Mega Man. Right, down to the subway we go. I could go for a subway, actually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we do that... <laughs> <laughs> Once again? Yes. <laughs> Time for this particular challenge. Yeah, if this one's a real. This is six switches, but you have to remember those three battle rounds. You have to be really quick here. Turn around, do the same again, and above your head. There. Yeah. They like to draw you from time to time with yeah. where the, tro the trophies are. Yeah, well, the other would, wouldn't you? <laughs> right. Now, can we go to the subway past Andrew? Let's go. <laughs> Right, it's down here. There we are, now... Yes, another trophy. <laughs> those ones, those wins would win border, you don't have to do anything. You can just simply punch them and that's it. Uh, but, if they're in predator sections, you can use them as a distraction. To get thugs to split uh, up and all that. But these two, all you have to do is just wait till they walk off the subway. And then just head down. But wait till we see the next two folks. They're, and they have an interesting conversation when I get down here. You'll see. Penguin sounded pissed. Batman's been screwing with his plans. Do those things even work underground? I read the manual. It never said anything about working underground. Yeah, they work. If you say so. Since when have you been all about reading anyway? <laughs> I read. Porn don't count. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that ended that conversation. Yeah. That's like Batman's not having any of that shit. Uh. Right. Welcome to the Arkham City subway. It's an abandoned subway. What else is What else is there to expect? <laughs> <laughs> Coming back from the dead is cheating on any day of the week. Take a guess who that reference in. Uh. Oh, what's his name? Uh, wouldn't be Vandal. Nope. No. Solomon Grundy. Ah, of course. 
that it's the, the, the riddle is the poster right there. Yeah, I hope that I'm sure. Aye, so Solomon Grundy born on a Monday. Aye, born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, married on Wednesday. I can't remember the rest. Aye. But that, but he is a villain in the DC universe. Yeah. Well, isn't it was no one was Vandal Savage. Was he immortal or something? Yeah, he's immortal. Alright. Oof. Oof, my guys. <laughs> like, Just to the door. Yeah, my guys' faces are even when he wakes up. <laughs> oh, oh, my face. <laughs> they are coming back from the dead. Is cheating. Is cheating on any day of the week. And here's another Titan container. Oh, well, it must be the um, last two must be died on Saturday, but on a Sunday. And then the, I think it ends with that's the story of Solomon Grundy. All right. It's vacation time. Where shall I go? Somewhere venomous? No, it's not a reference to venom. That that would be fireworks all over the place if they did that. Uh, right, predator section time. Now, what you can do is see when the thugs are hanging over the light on the barrier like that. Pull out the back claw. Pull them over. Yep, they go flying. Remember I mentioned before, depending on the height, they'll be instantly knocked out. Yeah. But there's also a Riddler guy here, I need to leave him for last. Is that him? That's the best you can do. Keep in mind though, if they do not see you, they become terrified. Yeah. Shh, time. <laughs> he is going to sleep that. <laughs> He's sleeping on the ground. Yeah. There we are. What's that thing that you that you see in movies where they put a cloth on someone's face and they go to sleep? Uh, chloroform, I think. Oh, yeah. Surprise! I wonder if that he has that built into his gloves. Right. That's when he catches him, he spores it out. Right. Like, <laughs> I was just that phone from the gas to scratch his, gas to scratch his chin or something. Aye, like, <laughs> <laughs> God forbid he's God forbid he's ever on a gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, on a gargoyle, um, looking over, um, thinking, has to scratch it. <laughs> we splat, <laughs> and then I found Batman. And then they tried to, and then he takes off the mask. Fuck. Yeah. Right, last jammer. Let's see how Nolan North. I can't, I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot is going to take this reaction. Yeah. My guess is badly. Let's find out then. Right. Was the last now we can go, now we can go into the museum and get Mr. Freeze. Ooh, trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Let's continue on. But what that really means is after de um, detouring for about five Riddler trophies. <laughs> <laughs> True. Let's see. Okay, he's best. Yeah. Right. What's this password going to be? Compartment. So, I mean, the passwords are not very imaginative. Yeah. But that doesn't unlock the cage. That just basically unlocks the alternate staircase to the subway. Yeah. Like, to the top station platform where you get your tickets. Yeah. Into this great we go, and yep, someone did live in here actually. I mean, it's Arkham City. Yeah. That's why Bruce was so fixated on politics, just so he can get a stand in Arkham City, trying to do it as Bruce Wayne. But yeah. look where that ended up. Yeah. Another pink one there. That's for Catwoman. Yeah. I suppose even Bruce Wayne. We know there's only so long you can actually be Batman for. Aye. You can't be Batman forever. Yeah. No, no, the reference to the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't be bothered to walk another two, <laughs> ten feet just to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. We got to show off the gadgets. <laughs> Why walk to it when you can show off a bat gadget? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now for a new side mission, actually. What's this one? Thermal 
scans show no activity. Hold on. There's a body. It appears to be naked. Heat traces. Not been dead long. Oh, jeez. It looks like someone's cut off his face. Oh, lovely. Stop usual. Continue with your That's... Patrol, oh, what's his face you mentioned to? Hush. The identity thief. But I'm not. I don't want to spoil it just now because he has plans. It's like the way he's choosing his target. It targets is he's t he's, t he's not taking entire faces. He's taking particular parts of people's faces and then putting them together to form a new face. What that new face is, we'll have to wait and see. But first, trophy. <laughs> it's just one of those you see and like, ooh, I need to get that. <laughs> Like I said, ooh, shiny. <laughs> ooh, piece of candy. Brain power, <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Again, Riddler's not very imaginative when it comes to passwords. Neither is anyone for that matter. Uh. Right, the, uh, the first victim's body's down here. There we are. I should scan the crime scene to determine the cause of death. Scan the face. The victim's face has been removed and the head wrapped in bandages. There have been three murders in Gotham over the last month with the same M.O. The press have nicknamed the killer the Identity Thief. If he's now in Arkham City, I need to track him down and stop him. And there's a sample of blood done here. <laughs> the attack left the victim bleeding profusely. The murderer is likely to have trace elements of the blood on them without realizing. I'll filter the scanner to track the victim's blood particles. That should little graphical glitch there. You see the head? Yeah. Gone. Even the killer yeah. Himself. That's not a thing about the PS4 version. There's a few graphical glitches here and there with detective mode on. Yeah. Like, there's another body we're going to find later where I scan the body, but then it shows the victim's face. All right. Not the bandaged. I mean, no, there's a trail there, but there's fucks in the way. Yeah. Best to get them out of the way. Oh god, we got folks coming up with guns. Don't worry though, I have my special combo takedown where I can destroy the guns. <laughs> Oof. If those guns hit you, they do destroy the, the combo. Alright. So I mean, look, now they can't pick it up. Alright. You can use a smoke pellet to destroy to distract them, but you only have one smoke pellet. Alright. Like, once you've used it, you have to wait for a lengthy recharge. Alright. Ah, bats! <laughs> Fucking bats! <laughs> ah, not the bats! <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do that if I'm if I know I'm not gonna counter. I just debate it. Right. What did I say about guns? Uh, no guns. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all sounds like Ed <laughs> No, no guns. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll go on. You know, so we fine, Mister Wayne. Right, let's continue on with the investigation trail. Because I am the world's greatest detective. Oh, great, more folks. And there's a phone ringing, god damn it! <laughs> Oof. I love that, when you throw a bar around it, it goes into slow motion. I'll answer the phone later, the victim's trail's right here. Right, him. Let's talk to him. Why did you kill him? It wasn't me. I'm not a killer. I'm a plumber, for God's sake. Nice jacket. Uh. I don't have to believe anything. Tell me what you saw. There was this guy. He dropped the body there. He was weird looking. You won't believe me, but, well, he looked like Bruce Wayne. What? I know. What? Batman Someone surprise for yeah. once. He was covered in cuts and bruises, but I'm sure it was him. Poor guy must have had a target the size of Gotham City painted on him. Looked like he'd been attacked by pretty much everyone in Arkham. There may be more victims of the identity thief in Arkham City. I should look out for them. And by that, we'll have to wait until they pop up. Yeah. <laughs> now we can answer the phone. Yeah, but I'm guessing that's the identity thief's plan then, make us a whole Ibris Wayne in it. Yes. <laughs> oh, Batman. Right. You sound impatient. Time for Zaz. Now, what? Remember, I told you when you don't pick up the phone, he kills a pig. 
as in case of human, but when you pick up the phone, this is what you have to do. You have to follow the signal of the phone bouncing between phones until he finishes the call. Alright. You've been killing them. That's a question of perspective. For example, but if you're interested in the character, he gives a backstory of how he became to be while he's on the phone. Of course we would. If you hurt them, Zez, I will hunt you down. I bet you will. But first, a little game. Right now, somewhere in Arkham City, there's a phone ringing. I know it's a big place, but you need to find it. She has all the phones in Arkham City. Yeah. See that? That's bumping. That's where he's phoning from. Yeah. Don't try anything clever. I had a friend help me bounce the signal through every relay from here to Bloodhaven. Bloodhaven is basically Nightwing's city. Hang yeah. up that phone and start running. Ring, 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 ring. You know, you're going to really increase the, the taxes on the phone bills, yeah. Zaz. Yeah. So now we are at the time limit. Answer the ringing phone as soon as possible or Zaz will kill the hostage. It's a race to the phone. <laughs> Imagine that for an Olympic sport. Uh -huh. Whoever grabs the phone gets a free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> or a free Just Eat order from Kebab. Yeah. Aye, all that exercise you did, oh, put it, be ready to put it back on. <laughs> nah, I'll have to admit, gliding through the city, there's a lot of frame drop in, in the PS4 version. Yeah. Compared to the PS3 version, I think it's because of the the lighting. I mean, it's a port, so Aye. that's why I don't get about video games in general. Like when you fuck up a port, Aye. it's literally one of the easiest, laziest things you could ever do in the industry to get free money, and you fuck that up. Aye. Especially when you're porting it to a more powerful console. <laughs> Aye, I mean, look at Sonic. Was it Sonic Genesis? That, I, it was supposed to be, it was released on the 15th anniversary and it was supposed to be on the Game Boy Advance, which technically is more powerful than the Mega Drive, uh, and it's still ours. Yeah. Right, phone should be down here. You can, when you're close, you can use detective mode to locate the running phone. With one minute and ten seconds on the clock. So see the signal, you've got to move this with the analog stick and keep it in there so you, you can build up this trail. But it won't last forever, he'll hang up on every now and then. Once you get that bar fill, it will reveal his head his hideout location. But let's just say I'm not going to find him till much, much later. Psycho! I mean, you should have stayed that way. I mean, this is his backstory. Oh. <laughs> right. So that's basically Zaz's side quest all the way through. Right. I know, it's boring and it's tedious. Right, what upgrade am I going to go for this time? Yes, the blade dodge takedown. Right. Release and press between each swipe when you're doing the car takedown. It's, it is hard, but once you get used to it, it is satisfying. Right, let's take a back trip back. Because we have to go through the entire half of the city to get to here. So we'll, go, we'll cut back to when we go back to the amusement mile. And we are back. <laughs> Remember that um, cage that I couldn't get to earlier? Yeah. Now we can get into it because we have Riddler's codes. Yeah. There's a lot of these easy ones where it's just locked behind a locked panel. That's all it is. Yeah. Oh, so you used to be in the army, thug, and now you're working for one of the crazy supervillains. Yeah. Boy, have you fallen. Yeah. Right, back to the museum. Not again! <laughs> right, he's got a blade saw. Hopefully I should be able to show the blade di blade dodge takedown. Here we are. 
instantly knock him out. Yeah. Come on though, into the explosive gel. Good boy. <laughs> Performing the blade dodge takedown by releasing counters and all that. Blah blah. That's another way you can tell when to counter is when you see the thugs running up to you. Yeah. Right, you're going down, son. Good night. There we are, he actually punched him in the face this time and not yeah. the boys. <laughs> oh. New voicemail from Joker. Let's have this a lesson before we head on to the museum. Yeah. You have one missed call. Ring, ring! I was just remembering when it first occurred to me. It was about six months after you left me on that rooftop back at the asylum. As the bones knitted back together, I had plenty of time to think. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? It's easy. You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! <laughs> that will actually come into play later in the in the game. Ah. Right, as we finish listening to Joker's voicemail, and we'll make our way back to the museum, we'll see you guys in the next part.